Good Tuesday afternoon, everybody. Come on in this time to get some food on the stove. I hope and pray that you all are having a God bless Tuesday afternoon. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I don't see any rain clouds anywhere. I don't hear any rumbling or thunder and lightning or nothing like that. It's a good day in spite of all the other things that are going on in the world, you know, and I think it it's 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 a must that we come on and share the good news. And the good news, y'all, is that God is still in control. No matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, no matter what you think may be happening, God is still in control, y'all. Um, and our job is still to trust in Him and to do what? Pray without ceasing, y'all. So I'm in the kitchen. I'm getting ready to cook just something real simple. But I just... More than to cook, to, uh, I came on here just to say that to you. God is still in control. He loves you. He's got your back. But we got to start trusting and believing. And we got to start praying more. We got to start getting with our prayer partners more. And the one, the people that start forgiving people and start doing more in the way of, of uh, well, brotherly love. I know that's cliche, but brotherly love, that's the word that comes to mind. Not, not just people outside of your family, that brotherly love still should go out to your family members as well because we have to love one another as God loves us. That's what we need to be working on, y'all. So I had that on my little soapbox agenda for today. So what I'm cooking, something I had a taste for, I got my grits over here on the side. Look at that grease pop up. Y'all be careful. I had the pot over there. These tough arms, I didn't even feel it. So, anywho, y'all, that's grease coming down. <laughs> so, anywho, y'all, those, those are the particles that are still floating in the air. You see what's in, look, look at that. This is just a, uh, uh, a lesson in what floats through the air when water hits oil. It's still floating. That's how it gets all over your stove and your walls and all like of that. So, we you know, we've after every time we cook, basically, we really need to wipe that stuff down. I learned that uh, a little while back. But anyway, back to the business at hand. I'm going to go ahead. I got some onions I've sliced up. I want to saute these onions because I'm going to put some, um, I got a, a cup piece of fresh salmon. And I want to do something with that salmon. Um... Just something that just popped into my head because I love, you know, just salmon and grits. But rather than have salmon patties, we just gonna have what mama used to call loose salmon. But it's fresh salmon. We're gonna saute some onions for it. And uh, we're gonna put the salmon in. We'll get it over here in a minute. And we're gonna chop it up in those onions and then we're gonna fry some eggs. And we're gonna eat it with the grits, y'all. Uh, so that's gonna be some good eating. Good eating. Real good eating. And we're going to, of course, season it up with all of our usual seasoning. Onion powder, garlic powder, everything, but the kitchen sink, all that good stuff. It's going to be incorporated into this. So, uh, I know I've not been uploading like I should. Um, I got to, I'm still, you know, as I told y'all, when I get to the end of these health condition situations, I will... Um, talk to you about the whole thing, but I have got to see one more doctor, and uh, I'll get to it. I will get to it. Uh, I don't like to get out that premature. I, I even was reluctant about telling the family because you know how you get half the situation out there, and everybody started doing that, thinking and pondering and wondering and adding to it, and I don't really care to do that. I really don't. So. Anyway, y'all, let's get back to the good stuff. I'm putting all my oils on these uh, onions. This is some sesame oil. I put um, olive oil, grapeseed oil, and some avocado oil. Just to get those flavors to infuse. Whew, that's going to be something good. It smells good. You know, just frying onions is just smells wonderful. It makes you feel like you got a whole big old steak waiting over there. Uh, let's find the everything but the kitchen sink seasoning to go in there. 
that would go with that. Oh, you know what? When you smell, for me, smelling sesame seed oil, when it when the heat hits it, it makes me just feel comfortable. It's a comfort spice for me. I love the smell of sesame seed oil. Love, love, love it. But I hope, like I say, I, I do hope and pray that you all are having a God-blessed um, Tuesday afternoon. A little bit more of that. Because I'm going to come back to with some more of this when I get ready to put the salad in. I really, really, really pray that y'all are having a God-blessed morning. I am. Um, just the thought of being here, being alive, knowing that I can um, be around and with my uh get me some old bay season that going go in here go on that salmon. But just knowing that I can be around my children and grandchildren and friends and neighbors and all like that. You know, I delayed posting my Mother's Day video. I mean it was just one of those days because I, I thought one thing and something else happened and I'm just excited. And I had to ponder about you know, and on the back there where you write a little synopsis. I kind of wanted to be real thoughtful in doing that. So, I have not, I'm getting ready to post it today, y'all. So, it's going to be like a whole week late. But that's okay. Put a little bit of salt on there. Some black pepper. Check my grits. Check my grits. Okay. I'm just going to take this salmon here in a few minutes. And start just cutting it up in on top of these onions. You know it doesn't take that long for salmon to cook. Not long at all. Not long at all. So again, like I said, I'm gonna go off and get my eggs ready. And I'll be right back. I think I'm probably gonna drop about five or six eggs on top of that salmon once it gets it going. So hang tight. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Getting ready to go ahead and start putting my fresh salmon in. Like I said, I'm just going to take my meat scissors, fresh salmon, skinless. The kind I like the most is skinless. Okay, and I, it's going to pop a little bit. It's got a little water on it, so give them up on the side there for a minute. But I'm just going to cut it up just like so. Just like so. And once I get it all of it cut up, I'm just going to sprinkle my seasons on it. And then I'm going to fry my eggs off to the side. And we're going to see what we got going on. I mean, what can I say? This is something that just occurred to me. I'm not making patties out of it. I was going to do patties, but I decided no patties. So I'm going to do patties. It really would be shocking, y'all. Oh, what? I got a brand new pair of a scissors that came with my cutlery set. And I can't even know it. I can't even find it. I can't find it. So I'm going to hit it with some everything but the kitchen sink seasoning. <clears throat> this is a little gumbo filet seasoning. Okay. Y'all get me now. Y'all see what I'm coming from now? I'm going to go ahead and mix my own in there. Put that onion flavor in there. Those sauteed onions. Put them all over into the mix. And she's going to eat that with good stuff. Y'all feel where I'm coming from? Y'all feel right exactly where I'm coming from. <coughs> A little clean up thing going on here. Okay, there we go. Oops. Got my eggs over there on the back burner. They're going right in here in the same pan. Right in the same pan, y'all. So let these salmon saute on up in there. And I got some, um, 
Asiago bun in the oven. To top it off, so see, you know, I got a little bit of toast in there. Okay, my garlic powder. A little garlic powder on there. A little bit of garlic powder. Well, that was onion powder, saw that there, but I got some garlic powder coming up here somewhere. There it is. About a half teaspoon of each. Okay, let that simmer a little bit or two longer. And then I'm going to get me a little bit of uh, just, about, just for flavor. Yeah, I don't know how to the flavor. About a teaspoon of butter. Just because it's salmon. Okay, this will be good. And uh, we got a little bit of uh, a little bit of cilantro. These cilantro flakes. Oh yeah, as it was. Okay, it's gonna be kind of good, y'all. Oh, my garlic pepper. I got some garlic pepper up here. I believe this is just about done. If you notice I've turned the heat down on it a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of lemon pepper, a little bit of garlic pepper, and we're going to be done with the seasoning. Okay. About a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic pepper, and I'm going to put about a quarter of lemon pepper. And that's going to do it. Here we are. Okay. And I'm going to get over here on the side of this salmon and cook my eggs. I'm going to leave them all right here in the pot. You know, everybody don't always like everything all mixed in. I'll eat mine all mixed up. Doesn't matter with me. Mm. That's good, y'all. Mm. The bread is like ready to come out of there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put me a little bit more olive oil down in here. I'm going to get these eggs in. Need some more olive oil. You know you have to have lots of olive oil. Okay. Now. I think they beat up enough. Eggs all beat up. Yeah, a little bit more sea salt in there. I got some hot green hot peppers in there too, y'all. Okay, there we are. That's it. That's all I'm trying to do right there. And we're gonna let those eggs cook. Um, until they get nice and fluffy. And you know, uh, you kind of slow cook scrambled eggs because you don't want to turn the heat down. So how we're doing this, I'm not going to, I was going to bring that salmon and eggs, salmon rather, and uh, onions and bring right directly into the eggs, but then I decided not to. So, you got to keep watch on it. watch on it just keep it stirred it'll cook into it just keep the heat low and keep on cooking it see how it's working just keep it working keep it working y'all okay this will take about a good 10 minutes because we're cooking it slow be right back okay y'all everything is ready um <clears throat> that's everything out of the pan now we're going to do this this is how I like to eat mine. This is feta cheese. I'm gonna put, put a feta cheese in mine. And the way I like to do, I can go and get my, I want all mine in one bowl together. I like mine mixed together, y'all, together. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna help me a couple ladles of these grits. We'll help them right on top of that feta cheese. That cheese will sort of melt, it'll melt down a little bit. Not a lot, but a little. We'll have some chunks in there. Okay. You know, do you know? Yes, ma'am. About the video. I'm gonna do it from my plate. I already did it. Yes, you will. Okay. I'll put you some cuts in here. Okay. That sugar is right there. Where? Right over there. Right. See my coffee cup sitting right there? Okay, I'm going to just get the last of the grits in the grits pot. Y'all know what happens to the grits pot. Put some water in it so it'll soak up because they stuck. That's all right. Good old creamy grits, y'all. Good old creamy grits. And then what I'm going to do. I'm gonna Excuse me. I'm gonna take my eggs and salmon and sit right on top of them grits. Like so. That's a wrap, y'all. And that's gonna be some good eating. I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and change. You, you, know, you know, I had like, like two pieces of salmon, pretty good sized pieces, but was not enough to like make for a single meat. So go ahead and scramble them up with some onion and some eggs. And it's called stretching. Y'all know what, what the deal is here. It's called stretching. So that's what you come up with. <coughs> so I've got my salmon grits and eggs all in one bowl. Okay, y'all, that's it. Uh, I'm getting ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy this meal. Thank y'all for stopping by early morning, early afternoon rather. This is sort of a brunch meal because you know I told y'all I don't eat till anywhere between 12, 31 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Depends on how hungry I am. I guess I was a little bit hungrier. This trying to get my camera shot right. But I, as I was saying, I guess I was a little bit hungrier. So I'm a little bit hungry a little bit earlier than normal because usually it's like 1 or 2 before I eat. But it's like 12, 30 in the afternoon. So, uh. Well, it's almost one o'clock. So, anywho, I'm getting ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy this meal. Thank y'all for stopping by. Thank you for your prayers, your comments, your compliments, your well wishes, and your challenges. I'm getting the frog throat again. This is the pollen is back, y'all. I'm telling y'all that pollen is back, and it's came, it came back with a vengeance. So, <clears throat> it gets me every once in a while. So. Anywho, y'all, this is where you do salmon, egg, and grits real quick, real tasty, and filling. So, anywho, until uh, I decide to cook again, y'all, y'all know what the deal is. I'll be back. Uh, you know, the holiday is coming up. Um, was it Memorial Day? I'll be on that grill again. I think I'm going to get my brisket on there this time. So, y'all stay tuned for that. And all my other videos that I got backed up in my camera, I will be releasing them because I... Just had, you know, you just don't feel like going through. Well, that's been my issue. Just had to feel like putting them up. So some of them are late, but what that saying goes, better late than never. So we're going to get them out there and they're going to be just as good. Just give you something to look forward to. So, anywho, y'all, pray without ceasing. Think about your fellow man. Think about your family members. Think about others when it comes to. Uh, what's going on in people's lives and how they feel and um, we just, just have to consider each other sometimes we can't always let out what's in we have to keep it in for a few days and let it marinate so we can make it better not to make it untrue or sugarcoat but to spare you have to spare people's feelings every once in a while I know that building in one home you have children you have to realize how you have to do that honey because you can go there with them youngs anywho y'all love you guys until i decide to cook again now keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down
pray without ceasing and do something kind for somebody. A word, a deed, a card, a cash app, which is the most popular thing these days. So, till I decide to cook again, then y'all, I will bid you a happy, happy, blessed Tuesday. And just, it's just something about this day that I just feel, that I just, I, I just feel led to just, just put that extra little bit on how you treat people these days. That's what I'm trying to get at. Just that little bit extra ain't going to hurt you. Ain't going to cost you nothing. Just get, do a little bit extra uh, when it comes to dealing with family, friends, and even people that you don't really know. If you see, speak to somebody and they look like they're downtrodden, you know, a hello and a smile goes a long way. I do it all the time because it's just a part of what I do. And sometimes I feel find myself into conversations prayer, encouragement, all of that makes me feel better as well. So that was the rest of my soapbox, y'all. So I love you guys until I decide to cook again now. I'm going for real this time. Uh, love you. Toodles. Pray without ceasing now. Don't forget the hot sauce, y'all. Almost forgot. Makes it even better. Toodles. <laughs>